Leaving a French Bulldog alone with small children, what to consider? French Bulldogs are a popular breed of dog known for their adorable appearance and playful nature. They are often considered to be great family pets due to their friendly and affectionate personality. However, many prospective dog owners might be wondering if French Bulldogs can be left alone with small children. In this article, we will discuss the various factors to consider when leaving a French Bulldog alone with small children. First and foremost, it is important to remember that no breed of dog should ever be left unsupervised with small children. Regardless of the breed, dogs are still animals with natural instincts, and young children may unintentionally provoke or harm them. them. Supervision is essential to ensure the safety of both the child and the dog. While French Bulldogs are generally good with children, it is crucial to assess the individual dog's temperament and behavior. Every dog, regardless of breed, has a unique personality. Some French Bulldogs may be more patient and tolerant of children, while others may be more easily agitated or possessive. It is essential to observe how your French Bulldog interacts with children before considering leaving them alone together. Additionally, the age of the child should also be taken into account. Younger children, particularly toddlers, may not understand how to properly behave around dogs. They may pull on their ears or tail, poke them, or try to take their toys away. These actions can easily lead to a negative response from the dog, regardless of their breed. breed. On the other hand, older children who have been taught how to interact with dogs respectfully and gently may have a better chance of developing a positive relationship with a French Bulldog. Another factor to consider is the French Bulldog's exercise and energy levels. French Bulldogs are a brachycephalic breed, meaning they have short muzzles and can have difficulty breathing, especially in hotter weather. weather. It is crucial to provide them with enough exercise and mental stimulation to prevent behavioral problems that can arise from boredom or frustration. A tired and content French Bulldog is less likely to exhibit unwanted behaviors, even when left alone with children. Training and socialization are also essential aspects to consider when determining whether a French Bulldog can be left alone with small children. Proper training is key to ensuring that the dog understands basic commands and behaves appropriately in different situations. Socialization, on the other hand, involves exposing the dog to different people, animals, and environments, so they feel more comfortable and confident. A well-trained and properly socialized French Bulldog is more likely to handle interactions with children in a calm and gentle manner. In addition to these considerations, it is essential to establish clear boundaries and rules for both the dog and the child. Teach your child to respect the dog's space, and explain the importance of not bothering them while they eat or sleep. Similarly, teach your French Bulldog to recognize and respond positively to the child's presence. Consistency and positive reinforcement are crucial in building a harmonious relationship between the dog and the child. It is also worth mentioning that having a backup plan is always a good idea. Despite all the precautions and considerations, accidents can still happen. Having someone available to supervise and intervene if necessary, such as a trusted family member or a professional dog sitter, can provide an extra layer of safety and peace of mind. In conclusion, while French Bulldogs are generally good with children and can be great family pets, it is crucial to remember that no breed of dog should ever be left unsupervised with small children. The individual dog's temperament, the child's age, training, socialization, and establishing clear boundaries are all factors that need to be taken into account before considering leaving a French Bulldog alone with small children. Ultimately, the safety and well-being of both the child and the dog should always be the top priority.